Hi everybody, Kyung here. Um, happy Friday! <laughs> it's time for another page by page, which is super exciting, I have to say. I have to say I'm having the most fun with this project. It is so much fun. And I'm loving this journal. It's amazing. So we're on page 13, I think. So let's go through. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 yep 13 and today's prompt is um, string but not sewing and so actually funny enough we're not gonna sew at all I'm not gonna sew any at all but um, I did cut this piece of paper which fits <clears throat> this black cardstock which fits onto this and this is what we're gonna work on right so we'll work on this and then when we're done we'll glue it on and then that'll be easier than trying to work on the signature I think so that's what we're gonna do today so for right now, we'll put this guy away. He's so cool. Um, maybe in the end, we'll put like some tabs on him down the, you know, once we organize and get him ready and everything, we'll put some tabs on him. Okay, so here's our page and I found this uh, painting. This is actually an old vintage painting I found online. Um, it's open source, but I uh, pulled it in to Photoshop and I blew it up and I uh, enhanced it and stuff and made it more sharper and just so it's like nicer looking. And I thought this would be gorgeous to put on this page as our background. So we're gonna do that. Um, we just need to cut it from there and we'll cut it kind of smaller all the way around, I think. I think I'll use my guillotine because it will give nicer, will give a nicer cut. Although, have I serviced it yet and dealt with it and oiled it up and everything? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I want to use this side because I love that. So I've decided, hold on one second, okay. So I've decided that the next prompt, oh look at that, that looks gorgeous, that's perfect. That the next prompt for next week will be Safety pins. Dum -da -dum. I figured we would go back to basics, you know, safety pins. Everyone has safety pins. And um, let's ink this in walnut stain. And so you can use one safety pin or multiple safety pins or whatever you want to do. Um, but there has to be a safety pin on the page somewhere. So I can't believe we're getting close to the end. I am, um, I don't know, I don't know. It's, uh, it'll be sad to see it end. <laughs> I'm excited to get the journal done. I'm excited to like see what it'll be, like what, it, you know, once I add extra pages and make the cover and everything and send it to her. Um, but once it's done, it's done. We won't have a Friday page by page anymore. Just don't know what what um, what I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> okay, let's glue this on. And I tossed out my little art glitter glue bottle because it was starting to crack. And Tommy, uh, the goth goth crafter, and she meant she mentioned in one of her videos, right, that her glue bottles crack, and mine do the same thing. So I just replace it over time. Um, but I decided instead of trying to refill that little bottle all the time, because um, it was cracking and getting, you know, getting messy and all kinds of things, drying up and stuff, I uh, just put my tip on the big giant glue bottle and said, let's just use that. And then it was funny, I was watching Miss P uh, this morning and she had mentioned that Julie over at Camille Crafts also started using giant bottles. Uh, <laughs> I thought that's awesome because yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, I want to put this pocket right here and I'm just measuring it for right now. Okay, and I think that's cut crooked so we'll even that up. So here's our pocket and we'll even put a little hole in it while we're at it. I'll use my one and one fourth inch punch. Let's mark the middle. <laughs> right.
right there. That's our middle. Ta-da! There we go, and we'll ink it really quick. We're not going to glue it on yet, but I just want to get it ready. Okay, so there's our pocket. Because those dudes are cool, but they don't match. They're not going to, because we're going to put Timmy dudes, our Timmy people on there, so they need to match. So this will be fine for right now. This is, this is the beginnings of our pocket. So I fussy cut out these little balloons. Um, and I want to put them up in the sky like this, right? We, ha I have four and I probably won't use all four, right? But look at this one. I love these ones that like hang all low. They're super cool. Um, let's use the yellow one or the blue one. Let's use the blue one. It's more contrast, I think. And I don't know, I love the pink one. We'll do the pink one. The pink one and the blue one. Yeah. Like that. We can have it look like one is like floating off on the, like in the distance. Right, and we'll put this one here. And I think that will look good. Yay, look at that. Okay, so let's ink just barely just barely the edges there's my little my little finger one it's just finger dauber around the little get rid of our white lines that looks much better you know and if i was being really fussy i could go in there with a zacto knife and cut out forget that right i'm not doing that I think it looks fine how it is. I'll just dull it up. It does just make a difference. I don't know. It makes it blend into the background more. And this one, we only need the side on this one. This side, right? Because it's going to be glued on up here like this. Okay, let's grab our art glitter glue. Well, okay, we'll glue this one on. Right? So it's gonna sit like this. Oh, look at that, right? And we'll trim it off once it dries. And this one will go up here. And I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it for now because we have to do string. Right, I think this one I'll put here because there's more sky here than there is over here. And we'll put this balloon over here. Although it does look weird that we have these two. This will be fine. I like this. <laughs> Just be happy with it. Okay, let's get out our people. Dum, dum, dum. Our Timmy peeps. Now I would like if I can. It might be a chore, but we're gonna see. Who wants to go on this balloon ride? I'm hoping to find someone with their arm up, right? Like they're holding on to an umbrella or something. I think I said this before in the last video. I really wish that I had had that. Okay. Um, she's so big, isn't she? Look at her. She won't work. So we'll have to use her and we'll use this kid. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Okay. So there's her. I mean, there's this guy, right? But he's holding like an ax or something. I don't know. Hmm. Right, so we can make it look like he's, <laughs> like she's holding onto it like this, right? <laughs> Uh, 
and he's going to be hanging by a thread from here, right, like he's floating. And we don't want him to look like he's standing on the building. We want him down here, probably. And yeah, I'd love to get like a half a person down here, maybe just their, <laughs> their head like peeking out. That would be fun, huh? Um, hmm. It probably has to be another kid since we went kids. There's the trumpet kid. Uh, hmm. There's the dog. Let's do the dog. <laughs> yes. Uh, as a tribute to Oz, Terry's dog. Right there, ta-da, and they'll be flying through the air from these balloons. Okay, and then let's check our pocket and see, because I'm thinking we can put, I'm going to put the pocket over, you know, if, if we get anyone's hanging, hanging down too far. I may cut this piece off like that and have her hanging on to this piece like this right okay let's do it let's um did we ink this we did okay let's glue it on there oh i need to go have lunch um my tummy was yelling at me a minute ago <laughs> not had lunch yet I don't know what I'll make for lunch maybe soup that kind of sounds good Doo -doo. I pulled out some butter last night because I've been craving shortbread and haven't had any for a while so I pulled out some butter to uh, soften so this afternoon I'll be making shortbread so I'm excited about that so I'll have shortbread for the live. Okay, there we go. You're on there and your hand looks kind of funny. Like her hand looks kind of funny. I don't know, like it was cut off. And I don't know, she was like, came like that. So I'm gonna put some markings or something in some shadow and that looks, that looks a little better, like she's holding on to it or something. Um, just little differences, right? So I pulled out this, I have this embroidery uh, thread by Loops and Threads. Um, and it's a string. So, and it's pretty thick and I like that because you'll be able to see it, but I'm thinking I might make it a little thinner. And the wonderful thing about embroidery thread is you start out with this and it's like five strands or six strands. I forget how many strands. And then six yeah six and then if you want you can take however many strands you want and get as thin a piece as you like right so you just pull try not to get it tied in a knot <laughs> there we go so we have this one right, which is a four strand, and this one is a two strand, and they're much different. But I think we're going to go with the four because, you know, we want to be able to see the thread. So, cool, I didn't glue it down. I was like, oh, please tell me I didn't glue it down. Um, I'm going to use some double-sided tape because I think that, that is the best way forward. just to like keep it on there until we glue our so we can figure out what we're doing okay so we have our string here and let's kind of tilt this balloon like this like the wind is carrying it and he's like this way right or is he like this way yeah he'll be like this because we want him not looking like he's sitting on the building 
right? Okay, I'm going to trim that for now, and we'll glue this down. I'm going to leave a little bit of extra length, <clears throat> just so that, you know, mistakes are made, and it's easier to trim things than it is to add things. Where is my, here it is. Okay. There we go. Now, put some glue. It's going to tilt like this, right? Maybe not so much. Well, can we try to move it? <laughs> there we go. And then he's going to go like this, like he's holding on to the string, and we'll trim it after. So let's glue him first. glitter glue down there just to keep that thread staying there and as it dries it'll dry and it'll go clear you won't even be able to tell and let's trim this thread like that look he's hanging from a thread on the blue <laughs> isn't that fun we could make this a thread as well right just put thread on it to make it look good. Give like a 3D element to it, right? We could even have it extend down like it's hanging, you know, and so instead of hanging onto the thread, she was like, right? I'm gonna hang on to this steel piece instead of the string. Why hang on to the string breaks? Because <laughs> she's a smart little girl. All right, this one is kind of thicker, so maybe I will just use a full thickness worth. Put the glue down. Barely touch it. Yay, look at that. And then we'll have it, maybe we'll have it wiggle <laughs> Yay, it'll wiggle. More like this. Let me grab my, where did my, here it is. Yay, I love this tool. This like stylus. You can use it, I use it for everything. And I was so sad when I couldn't find, it was lost for so long. Months I could not find it. And I don't even know where I found it again the other day. Just, it was just there. I was like, where have you been? It's those gnomes. I've been talking to the girls about these. I have this idea that there are these crafting gnomes, and they're the same gnomes that steal your socks. And what they do is, and with the craft supplies, they mostly just borrow it, right? Because I find they bring stuff back. But I think they build their little uh, villages out of this stuff, and then, and then they bring them back when they're done with it. Most things. <laughs> oh, and so their villages, I imagine in my head, in my imagination, just made out of craft supplies, you know. And all their linens are made out of socks. <laughs> Ta-da! Yay! Look at that! So we have balloons with actual string, right, coming off there. And, um, I feel like something needs to go there. I don't know. Okay, and then we have this dog. And let's use let's use a four thread like we did with this kid. Okay, and I should have right glued it underneath the underneath the balloon, but hindsight, right? I 
looks good to me. Yay! Okay. Now Mr. Doggy is going to go here. I don't want it to look like he's hanging from... Right? We'll make sure it looks like it's hanging from like his back. Right? They tied it around his back. Not like around his collar. You wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Ta-da! His back, not his... <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Yay, I love it. Let's trim off this piece. And we'll play with our pocket. It's funny, you know, whenever I do this page, do a page by page, and I have my people out, I don't know, I feel like I have an audience. <laughs> They're sitting there watching me, wondering which one will I choose? Which one will be the next one to go into the book? Yes, I like it. Let's just glue that on there now. Not make a fuss about it. Okay. Do do. Yay! So last night, um, I hear the dog going nuts outside, right? Going nuts! And I was like, what is going on? So I go out there, and it's, it's late, you know? It's dark and late. I'm gonna just, I just have some, some of the string actual thread, and I'm just gonna pull some. And, uh, um, I got her, I got, it was Holly, you know, my shepherd, and I got her to come inside, but she could have got whatever it was. There was something over there, eating the plums or something, like getting into the plums or something, and she was just going nuts, but she didn't get it. Like, she kept her distance, and then once I got her to come inside and she ran inside, I heard whatever it was, like, it, like, I heard it scramble off, right? Like, it, it was a critter, definitely. It was probably a raccoon, is my, is, that's my guess. Okay, so we're going to put some thread here, because, you know, it's thread. And we already put people, so I don't really, I mean, we could put like, you know what would be funny, is what if we put these two down here? And they're like the parents of these. <laughs> they're like the parents, and it's a weird steampunky outing where you go and you let your kids hang from balloons <laughs> oh goodness gracious i don't know let's not do that let's put something else there something different something i have let's see i have these that i made from lorna's stamps where we have vintage which i ooh, actually I kind of really like that. We have journal. Um, I'm kind of really liking the vintage though. I think let's do that. Let's do that. We could see what else we have. Let's see. We have these. Do, do, do. This kind of stuff we could tuck in behind. Like that. I kind of really like that. What else do we have? We have these little red ones. We have this blue one. Meh. Meh. Right. We do have maybe like some little flowers or something that might go, maybe. I have leaves, but that's not, no, that's pretty naturey, right? Oh, this, that, that thing that I've never been able to find a use for. We have this blue, this one came in, um, 
what one of those like Tim Holtz uh, die cut flower packs I think or you know whatever one of those ones you can buy so we have this one we can put on there which I like that kind of pretties it up you know nothing wrong with adding a little bit of pretty we've got these pink ones but they're really naturey but I kind of like it do we have like anything black and white that I was just thinking that might actually be really cool let's look in our book of stickers and stuff stickers and stuff let's put this where it belongs just like up in here somewhere here's a lighter one right but I'm kind of looking for like a black and white or something we have these cool butterflies these like big but they're so big they're too big they wouldn't fit what am I thinking? We have these weird mushrooms. Hmm. Hmm. I have the black and white sticker ones. Right? Let's use one of those. I like that one. This like dandelion-y looking one. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a zenith or something. Zenith, zenith, zenith. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me. Okay. This can go here. And if we put this here, okay, we'll see how that works. I don't know. In terms of sound. But my tummy will not be quiet. It's ridiculous. I know I mentioned lunch and everything, but it can wait like five minutes. <laughs> it says, no, I don't want to. It's not going to fit. So we're going to leave it off. We could just get rid of this one and put this underneath like this. Yeah, let's do that. I think so. I'm just going to put some art glitter glue down on there so we can stick our thread down. Just stick it down and be down. Okay, it's down. <laughs> Let's grab our sticker. Do -do. Okay. And we're not gonna, you know, need the whole thing, but... Just hold still for a second sticker. Just a second. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We got some glue on him. <laughs> now he'll never come off. Well, I mean, you know, you run him under water. I bet he would eventually. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got the sticker on there. And then our vintage. I think we'll stick that like down here in the corner like this. Yeah. And should I ink it? I don't think so. If I do, I would do it black. I think let's, let's, yeah, let's ink it black. Ooh, I love, I love, been loving this page by page project. I've been loving watching what Terry does and it's so interesting how because you know we're doing different styles and stuff right I'm going for a weird kind of steampunky I guess dream like world she's going for a very pretty beautiful floral you know where it's all it's all gorgeous you know and um it's so interesting but yet using you know we had to use string so I'm really interested to see what she does this week with her string I'll have all her information and stuff down in the description. So you can pop over there and check out what she's doing. Okay, so I have these. These came out of the kit, right? That the kit, the um that Stamperia pad. And I think that the problem with that is that it covers up our kids, right? But we have this 
right? We can put this in there. And should we, you know, should we ink it and like put a ribbon in it or something? Probably, huh? Probably. Yeah, that looks much better. And we'll punch a hole right where the hole goes. And I'm not going to put um, an eyelid in it. I'm just going to put, um, you know what? Let's put string. <laughs> Let's put some string. Let's uh, double this up. And we'll double it up again. So now we have four pieces together. And one more time. Poke that through there. Grab our ta -da, and then we'll just trim this off. And I'm gonna like be rough about it, right? So that that way maybe it's not so even. Ta-da! Oh, it's so cute. Look, it essentially made like a little um almost like a little tassel. How fun! Oh, I have to do that all the time. Little string on the look, ta-da! And then let's trim this off of here. Not that thread. I want to keep that little thread poking out because it's cute. See, isn't it cute? That little piece of white thread poking out under the vintage. Okay. Um, we can put a ticket or something in there. Let's look and see what we have. We have all these tickets. All right, and you can put some that are big enough that'll stick in there. Oh, look, but not so big that they'll cover up our people. Right, we have these little ones from Julie, but they won't fit, but you know what? Look at this one. This one is just, Oh, I love it so much, and I want to put it somewhere. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? It's terrible. It does. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, right? Unless we cover up our balloon, and we don't want to cover up our balloon. Oh, well, c'est la vie, huh? It is what it is. Should we put a couple of bus tickets in there? That one's a bus ticket. This one is also a bus ticket. I like the green one. But we'll put the red one in, because the red one, I think, matches with the color of everything. Okay, and just for fun, you know what? This guy, who looks like a private investigator, we're going to put him in behind here. Right? And unbeknownst to the children... <laughs> Look! <laughs> He's spying on them! <laughs> for his investigation. Who is letting these children and this dog fly around the city in these balloons? And he's gonna get to the bottom of it. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get this into the page. Um, on, to, on to the page. Right? So this is the page. And we're gonna stick it on here. Yes, that looks so good. And I'm not gonna ink it. Like I know I inked the page next to it, but I'm not gonna ink this one because I think it looks good stark. Um, and we're gonna make this a pocket. Um, I was inspired by what Terry did in her, um, in cause she's been doing a video every day for the September Daily. And uh, where she's been showing on her videos, like how she's been making her September daily. So she made these like big journaling cards, right? That fit in behind her page. And I loved the idea. So I'm gonna do that. Dum -dum. So there we go. This is crooked. Why is my vintage? It's crooked. Why did I put that on crooked? How did I not catch that? Well, isn't that how it goes? Um, <laughs> so I already cut out this 
right? And I cut out this and I figured this would probably fit in our page like this, right? Yes, it will. Awesome. Okay, so I have this and I thought, you know, we could cut that smaller and put that on. But since we didn't use this, the Le Balloon card, let's make it the journaling card. And so we'll do our, the stamping trick that uh, Miss P uh, does regularly a lot of times on her channel um, for beautiful background effect. So we'll do that. Oh my goodness, we're having more problems. And you know what? Let's play with, instead of text, Let's play with these. I have all these really cool um, design-like stamps. They're really cool, and they're all like different. There are so many different kinds, right? So let's find one appropriate, shall we? Let's see if we can find an appropriate one. Ooh, I like that this leafy one. Butterfly, the bubbles, the string. Yeah, I need to use these more often because they're actually, they're really good. I don't know. These were given to me by Debbie. Definitely this one. These were given to me by Debbie. Um, and, oh, look at that heart, right? Just a plain, like, heart stamp. That's great. So I'm thinking these. these. This is fine, right? We'll do these. We'll play with them. And this came with it as well, right? And what they do is they make, I guess they're like, oh, you like can like make all these different designs doing different patterns on them or whatever. And there was like a sheet that came with it that showed or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's use I'm thinking uh, walnut. Where did my walnut go? Here it is. Let's use walnut distress, right? And it will, it'll come out distressed, but that's okay. Put that there. Shall we do like four corners kind of thing? Oh, look at how pretty that is. Yay, I really like that. <laughs> Ta-da! And then we have this one, right? And where do we want it? We want it to, I don't know, you know, that's the thing. See, we might use this, this one instead because it's less square. This one is pretty square. We could go down in some areas, like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Yay. Let's turn this one like this. Get different like designs and stuff. Right. If we hit this one like that. <laughs> Look at that. I like it. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I don't know. I was like saying the other day in the live, you know, that like, I, I don't layer stamps great. Right? I feel like it always kind of looks like a mess. I don't know. Um, but we're always our own worst critics, aren't we? Let's see. We have, we can put some of this in. I suppose here and there. I want this compass kind of, um, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Like that. Just kind of try not to let it hit the edges. Right? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. 
I suppose sometimes you just have to give in. Hmm? Just give in. Should we add a different color? Let's add a different color. I would add black, but I'm a little worried. I don't want to ruin it, too. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's add a little bit of black. And let's grab another stamp. This one is similar, I think, to this one. Very similar. So we'll do grab this one. Oops, and we will add some black here and there. I don't know. Ooh. Sometimes you just have to be bold about it, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. I suppose that's not bad. Should we add another one? I feel like, I feel like we do. What about this one? This one is interesting. And you know what? That almost looks like faux stitching, huh? Interesting. Definitely faux stitching. Look at that. What a cute little stamp. It'll all kind of start growing out. Yeah, from the middle. And I don't know how much of this will get picked up because of the card. But that's good, yeah. And then the, our card is going to go in the middle of that. We're just going to glue this. Yeah, see, it doesn't even get any of that that we just stamped. I wasn't sure, though. That's not bad looking though, is it? It's not bad. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's ink the edges and stuff. And I think I'll round the corners. Let's round the corners first. Where is my... Where's Mr. Corner Rounder, dude? Oh, well, well, there's, you know, where there's another corner rounder is this side of the envelope punch. So if you ever lose your corner rounder, you can use this side of the envelope punch board. So for a very long time, when I first started journaling, before I got the corner rounder, I used this to like punch all my corners. And it's big, you know, it's a big cumbersome thing, but but it works, and it works better than trying to do it by hand, I think. I don't like that. Let's trim. I'm trim this line off of there. Because I want it rounded. It looks funny. Right? Rounded with that square corner. Okay. Now back to rounding. Actually, this corner rounder works better than the little handheld one I have. The little handheld one is not great. That like little cheap, but it's a cheap one. I mean, I didn't spend very much on it. I, a couple bucks. Okay. Look, and then we can even get, pick up some every here and there, every here and there, <laughs> of the stitching. Okay. Um, so one other thing. So let's, okay, let's ink. Bum, 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 bum. Look at how crazy much of a difference it makes when you ink around things. <laughs> Gosh, I'm always amazed, right? Like, oh, look, it suddenly looks like it was supposed to be like that. Um, like it was made like that. <laughs> All right, so we have this, and I'm going to grab my tickets again. And let's put some in behind the, uh, yeah, in behind the, ba the balloon photo, like this. Ooh, look, here's a purple one. 
I like that. We have a bus ticket. All right, we'll tuck that one there maybe. I like, I love this green one. All right, we'll stick that one there. This one is gorgeous, and here's another purple one. All right, so we can layer this one on top of this one like that. And have this one stick down. Yeah, and these ones came from uh, Julie at Camellia Crafts from her shop. These gorgeous little bus tickets that I love. Okay, and I'm thinking it needs one more here, yeah? It does. It's perhaps something a little different. Do we have anything kind of keep this ticket? Here's this one. And it's completely different because it's like not from the same. I don't know. We need something there. Something. Now I'm looking through my people again. Like maybe someone wants to poke their head out, you know. Kind of be. Be watching. Doom, doom. Okay, what about this guy? Shoot, we could just put him on there like that. He looks great. Let's just put him on there. Okay, cool. I like it. There's our big journaling card that will go in the pocket. Let's glue all our stuff down. Uh-oh. I left my cap off. Tisk tisk. Okay that. Put this ticket like that. I don't know if that's how it was. <laughs> so like that. just in time. There we go. This one comes down here like this. Yay. Okay, so if we put this here, and we put this one like right that, like right like that. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Glue this one on. The only sad thing is you lose the back of these, right? Which are so pretty. I do like the back of the uh, Stamperia pad journaling cards. But what can you do? I think this card is cooler. <laughs> Right? There's more room to write, definitely. Wonder how much ink we got on the back of there. Not too bad. I'll probably back it with some coffee coffee paper anyway. Now we're gonna put him on here like that. Le la balloon. Le le la <laughs> Le Balloon. That's what it says. I think Le is the, is it the balloon? I think so. Bon voyage. Ta-da. Oh, I love it. I love it. There is our journaling card. It's actually really fancy. Okay. So, in our page, 
ta-da! We have a ticket and another ticket, or a tag, a ticket, and this guy. Who, he's, he's our investigator dude, and he's investigating all the shenanigans that are going on. And then we have this, oh, he needs... He needs really, um, because he does pop out a little bit, and I don't want to catch him right on our card. All right, and then we have our journaling card, and it goes in. Oh, we have to put a tab on it. Let's do that. A tab, a tab, a tab. We use one of these, again, that Julie sent me. <laughs> what about this little one? Yeah, it even matches. It even matches. And what we'll do is... Right, you want to stamp it a little bit. Look at that. Perfect. Now it matches perfectly with our with our page. Look at that. Oh, that looks great. Oh, I love it. Do we want to go further and put a charm? We could if we wanted to hang off the tab. But I think I'm going to call it because we're about an hour in, so go in there. Okay, awesome. There it is. Uh, page 13. Yay! I love it. <laughs> String. And next week's prompt is uh, safety pins. So um, anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun. And I hope you all have a happy Friday and a good weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye.